Deputy Eamon Gilmore. Can Corla, I want to ask the Taoiseach, what is going on? Last week we had um, our cost of state borrowing uh, reaching record levels. And last Thursday morning here on the order of business, um, I asked the Tánaiste, who was taking the order of business, if the Minister for Finance was going to make a statement either that day or sometime over the weekend about the very turbulent uh, financial situation uh, that the country was, was facing. No such statement was made. We had, however, a series of quite extraordinary developments which took place over the weekend. We had the statement which emerged from the meeting of the G20 uh, in Korea. Uh, by lunchtime, uh, that was on Friday morning, by lunchtime of that day, uh, there was speculation uh, in news media outside of the uh, country uh, that uh, Ireland was either seeking some kind of a state bailout or that some kind of a European uh, support for the state uh, was uh, being discussed. All through the weekend, uh, both yourself and uh, your uh, ministers, uh, or some of them anyway, had been making statements to the effect, as you repeated here in reply to, uh, to Deputy Kenny, uh, that no application uh, for European assistance or no application to the European Fund uh, was, uh, was, being, was being made. Um, now, I think we need to, to, to get some clarity here, Taoiseach, because uh, I'm not sure what exactly you were saying in reply to, to Deputy Kenny. OK, I accept what has been said, that no application has been made. What type of contacts have been taking place between the European institutions and the government over the course of the, uh, the weekend? Were they uh, at central bank level? Were they at official level? Uh, were they at ministerial level? Was uh, or has there been uh, any suggestion from European sources uh, that uh, some assistance is to be provided uh, to the state? Or is it the case, uh, as is being speculated about in this morning's newspapers, that what is now being discussed uh, is in effect uh, a, another uh, bailout uh, for the banks, uh, this time uh, through uh, the European institutions. Uh, and what are the implications of that uh, for the state's uh, own uh, finances? You appear, in effect, in your reply to Deputy Kenny, to be acknowledging uh, that the Irish banks uh, now need uh, a further bailout. I think the phrase you used was Bank, banking stability. Um, you made a couple of references uh, to that. So I think, Taoiseach, what we need, and I think what people in the country want to, to hear from you, is a clear statement as to what exactly uh, is going on, what is being negotiated, what kind of conditions are, are, are being attached uh, to it, um, and over what period of time. Can Corla, that the Taoiseach is not responsible uh, for the rumours and speculation in the international media. But the Taoiseach is responsible, and the government is responsible, uh, for putting those rumours to rest and for settling the position. And unfortunately, that hasn't happened uh, uh, over the course of the, the weekend. And the Taoiseach continuing to rely on the phrase uh, that the government has not made uh, any application uh, to the, the European Fund doesn't address the issue. Now, I did ask you directly, Taoiseach, OK, accept that no application has been made. Um, and I accepted that on Sunday when I was asked about it by, uh, by, by, by a journalist. I accept what you say, that you haven't made an application. But the issue, the issue still remains we, we need to be told, because it is being speculated about, not just in our own media, but in the international media, it was subject of comment today in uh, Financial Times, for example. Um, we do need to be told, if 
there are discussions taking place uh, about assistance, A, assistance being provided to the state, and secondly, about the question of uh, some uh, additional funding for the Irish banks. Now, I think it's important to address that because uh, I was interested in the comments that were made by Daniel Gross from the Centre of European Policy Studies on Morning Ireland this morning, where he made the connection directly between what is happening in the banks and the, the state. He said Ireland was the first country to say that the government guarantee all of the banks every penny of their liabilities, and that decision, which looked smart then, is now really the downfall of the Irish country, the entire country. And he goes on to say uh, that, the financial, uh, the, that his view of what the financial markets are saying, uh, that the government uh, and the banks are the one thing, that the state and the banks are, are tied together, and he elaborates, he elaborates on, on that point. Now, I mean, all I'm seeking from you, Taoiseach, is information. There is continuing speculation, there is continuing comment in the media, among the, uh, among the public. Um, it's, very, it's one thing for you to come in here and, and present it that there's a general discussion about the Eurozone area. That's not the way it is appearing. What is appearing is that there is a specific discussion about Ireland's difficulties and its consequences uh, for, the, for, the Euro, uh, for the Euro area. And I think that there is an obligation on you to level with the House and to level with the public about what exactly is going on. And I think you're continuing failure to level about what is going on and to say directly, because you know, there's no point in being cagey and coy about this now, because it's being talked about anyway. Are we talking about assistance for the state? Has that been offered? Are we talking about assistance for the Irish, uh, for the Irish banks? And I think you need to tell us exactly what is happening in relation to those, uh, in, in relation to those matters, because it's being talked about anyway. The idea that you can kind of continue with uh, these are discussions taking place at ministerial level and when they're concluded we'll, we'll get a report. In normal circumstances, Taoiseach, that would be perfectly in order. But it is not in order now because what is being discussed at that level is, is being speculated about and the government's response to that over the weekend has not settled either markets or public opinion or sentiment or international comment about this country.